YouTube, what's up? It's iPod Touch Help 19 here. And I'm going to explain to you guys on how to jailbreak your iPod version 3.1.2. Alright, so, first step is to update your iPod to version 3.1.2. Then, once you're done for that, you actually restore your iPod so it's completely new before you jailbreak it all right so once that is done it should take about you know I don't know um, about half an hour not not too long you wanna go to this site it's I'll have it in the description it's called black rain so you click on the windows screen and it says do you wanna run or save this file um, I'm on a I'm on a Safari, so that's why it says this, but you want to save it. I already have it saved, so we'll go to the main desktop. Once you finish downloading it, you'll receive something called Black Rain right here. Okay? Next, you want to keep your iPod, you know, hooked into your computer, and um, when you double click the Black Rain icon on your desktop, uh, it will jailbreak it for you. Um, it'll, uh, it'll just your iPod will go black, and then you'll see this logo, and then um, it'll just restart your iPod, and sooner and and then it's just it's jailbroken already. Like it's so easy. And um, so once you did that, um, you'll receive this something called Black Rain right here. You want to click that it brings you to this. Now, the best thing about this is you can always uninstall Black Rain. But, this, uh, you can either select Cydia, Rock, or Icy to download. I prefer Rock. Um, it's a new one. Um, the reason why I prefer it is because it's faster and it's just less space. You know, it's easy. It's, uh, it's faster when you um, click on it than Cydia because Cydia takes a while. But um, yeah, so once you uh, installed one of those, then uh, you're good to go and you've jailbroken your iPod. It's as easy as that. Like, it can't get much easier. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, thank you.